With the flick of a piece of paper hey you. and a click of a shutter, a special hey photo you. shoot begins. You're going to run into someone like Aaron at some point in your life, probably hey. sooner rather than later. And to just have some a better perspective and understanding on what it means, um, because it's a spectrum disorder, one child with autism may look very different from another. Aaron Tyler was diagnosed with autism and global developmental delays at 18 months old. I wasn't 100% shocked, I would say, I guess, when, when we were told. But still, to hear those words, it's not, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's heartbreaking to anyone. You remember that day? Yes. What was it like? Um, it was an answer. We wanted an answer, but it also, you know, you, you grieve kind of the child that you thought you were going to have and those expectations and kind of those dreams, but... Then came the onslaught of services and therapies. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Speech therapy, OT, PT, intensive in-home therapy, in-clinic therapy. Music therapy. Music therapy. He's done one-on-one -on -one swimming. Hey, you missed her. <laughs> After working 17 years in the school district, again? Carrie Ancio left her speech language therapist job <laughs> to pursue her photography passion. Love that eye contact, bud. But she found a way to get the best of both worlds by being part of Stories of Autism, a national blog that aims to raise awareness. Photographers all across the country participate by taking pictures of local people who have the spectrum disorder. Those photos, along with their personal stories, are posted for the whole world to see. They need to know they're not alone. They need to know there's resources out there for them. And um, they need to just have that feeling of hope. And with every photo session, the hope is to be able to capture the gifts, that special gaze, the very essence of that person. These individuals are very special and they're beautiful in their own way, and I hope that my images portray that. <laughs> in Aaron's case, he's full of spunk. He can flick paper like no one's business. There's a certain um, quality of paper, and he seeks it out, and he finds it, and then it's you flick, flick, flick. Aaron is nonverbal, so if the saying is true, a picture says a thousand words, then these pictures speak volumes to his mom and dad. When you catch him in the moment, that's when you get to see kind of the, the gift that he is to our family and the things that make him who he is. So, and she, she nailed it with the pictures.